today's technique is going to be teaching you how to use bitumen and glue to create a textured and layered effect. Uh, so what you'll need is the following uh, materials. You'll need some paint, and th in this case I'm using acrylic um, cadmium yellow. You'll need some contact glue, you can get that from any hardware store. You will need a spray can, and uh, you will need some some of this stuff, which is uh, rust protector you put on underneath your car, or you can put it on anything metal. And you can get that from pretty much any local hardware store. Um, and you'll need some white spirits. And I'm doing the demonstration on Archer's 300 GSM watercolour paper. So basically I'm just going to take some sparkle from Tolling Putty using a palette knife and just putting it over. Now I'm not going to be too precious about how I put it on because this is just a demo of showing you what you can do. So now you'll just want to apply some of the um, acrylic. And once again I'm not doing this in any particular way. So now I'm just spray painting over the top. Okay, now that I've spray painted over the top and let it dry, I'm going to add the contact glue. And you can add it in any design or style you want. So for example, I'll just do what I normally do. Just to show you what's going on. So you just keep on repeating whatever pattern or design you want. And then you let that dry. So as you can see I've put the whole pattern on. Now I'm using the heat gun to dry the uh, glue. So when you've got it to that stage where it's dry, it's touch dry, you want to get your um, bitumen mixture. I've just thinned it down with some um, white spirits. And you'll just basically want to cover the whole work. Just cover the whole work, don't worry about it, how thick or thin it is, as long as it's covered, like so. Now you want to let that dry. and that So now that's basically dry, what you want to do is you want to take a cloth and your white spirits and just put a little bit on the rag. Now what you do is, and then you basically just wipe back. And you can wipe back as much as or, or as little as you want. Sometimes you can even splash a little bit on the actual work. Depending on uh, the effect that you want. So basically, yep, you just rub away. And you can leave some areas. So I'm going to add, just quickly add another layer on top. So that technique I showed you the other day where you add the rocks to make these little circles so I'm just going to get some white spray paint and then some red red and don't worry about losing the effects underneath because this bitumen as soon as you add terps to it it'll actually it'll peel back so now I've got that effect as you can see like that. Now I'm just going to add um, some ordinary white house paint in any style you want. Like that. No, something like that. And then come over with your white spirits from the can and spray so it helps separate it. 